Hello YouTube, it's Francis, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video we are gonna build a very simple AND gate with using only two ANP and BJT transistors. Let's get started. Logic gates are important building blocks of modern computing. And you can't really build complex circuits without them. One of the most common logic gate is the AND gate, which only opens its output once both of the input is powered. Imagine a circuit where both the VCC and the ground lines have a switch on it, and once both the switches are closed, the lamp is powered at the end. This is an AND gate, but this is not a universal solution. So let's build one using only two NPN transistors. Before anybody starts typing in the comments, yes, I know that there is a two diode solution, but I personally don't like it. I think the transistor solution is more robust and more logical. So, that out of the way, let's see how we can use an NPN BJT transistor. So we connect an LED to the emitter end of the NPN transistor, which is the negative side of the LED, and let's connect the positive lead of the LED through a resistor to the positive rail, and the collector side of the transistor to the ground rail. So now, if we pass current through the base of the transistor, the LED will turn on. So I add the resistor to the base to limit the current, and the LED will turn on. And this way we use the transistor as a switch. And when I remove the resistor from the base, the LED will turn off. And this is the mechanism we will use in our logic gate. So let's switch to the other side of the breadboard. Here I place the button array, where we can activate one or two as our input 1 and input 2. And I'll place our two NPN BJT transistors, just as we had before. And the logic is pretty simple. One will switch the other one's power, and the other one will switch the power for the output. So even if the output transistor is on, it still has no power to share with the output load. And if the power sharing transistor is on, but still the output transistor is off, the load will still be unpowered. As there is both transistors need to be powered for the output to activate. So therefore I connect both of the base pins of the transistors to the switches, but in real life you can connect it to an IC or your microcontroller or whatever. So with the switches 1 and 2 I can apply a current to the base of the transistors, therefore opening their gate. And also I need a power source for the button to let through. So I connect a current limiting resistor to the VCC line and I connect up button 1 and 2. Now we can really open the transistors with the help of the dip switches. Next order of business is that I connect the emitter of the first transistor to the collector of the second transistor. So when the first transistor is powered on, it supplies the second transistor with power, thus enabling the output. The last remaining step is to build the output. I put a red LED diode facing the emitter of the second transistor. I connect the emitter to the negative lead of the LED and the positive lead down to ground via current limiting resistor. And this is our finished AND gate, which will only enable its output once both of the switches are turned on. Whenever one switch is off, the output will be disabled as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something valuable.
Please consider subscribing and pressing the like button under this video, I would really appreciate it, because it would support my channel greatly. And it's totally free, and you can always change your mind. And as always, have a very wonderful day. Francis signs out.